advisors in the UK are now supposed to be upfront about their charges, but a survey by Which has revealed that many of them won't say how much they charge until they actually meet the customer. Which staff posed as clients and contacted 30 financial advisors for advice on investing a £60,000 inheritance. But only 14 of those advisors were willing to reveal their charges over the phone. 70% of this sample group also failed to provide price information on their websites. Another problem the consumer faces is that financial advisors have several different ways of charging for their services. In a separate survey of more than 200 advisors, which found that they use three main methods. Clients are most likely to be charged an upfront fee calculated as a percentage of the amount they're looking to invest. Rather worryingly, the percentage charged ranged from as low as 0.5% to as much as 5%. The range of hourly rates charged was just as wide, ranging from 75 to 400 pounds an hour. The survey revealed a broad range of fixed one-off fees as well. And of course, with so many IFAs insisting on arranging face-to-face -face meetings before revealing their charging structure, it can be very hard and time-consuming to shop around effectively. A spokesman for which said this, we want to see all financial advisors publishing their full menu of charges online. And if this can't be achieved by industry-led initiatives, we want to see the Financial Conduct Authority regulating advisors to compel them to do it. We think it's important for advisors to adhere to the spirit of the rules as well as the rules themselves. And this means being open about how much they charge, enabling consumers to shop around. And we would certainly agree with that. In the meantime, what are the key takeaways for consumers? Well, it's certainly worth checking an advisor's website for details of their charges before you contact them. If they're not on there and the advisor still won't spell them out over the phone, you may want to avoid using that particular advisor. Make sure you understand exactly how you'll be charged for the advice you receive. And beware, the scale of charges varies hugely, so don't just plump for the first quote you're given without seeking at least one alternative. If you're a consumer, why not give us your views on this subject or share your experiences? Advisors, we'd love to hear from you as well. Thanks for watching.